Hey y'all, what's up? Zach here, another YouTube video today. Today's video is going to be about a mass shooting in Maryland where at least three people are dead and more people are injured after what the governor called a horrific shooting at a Maryland distribution center. It says the shooting took place near Susquehanna and Perryman Roads in Aberdeen. Um, if anybody doesn't know what that is, Aberdeen is about 30 miles northeast of Baltimore. Since the first shots were reported just after 9 a.m., police say the shooter might have been a woman and the incident was no longer an active shooter situation as of 11.30 a.m. Since the FBI also responded to the scene of the crime. Um, now, first off, um, I want to give my prayers to anybody who lost a uh, family member um, or a boyfriend or a husband or a girlfriend or a wife out there. Uh, prayers out to y'all. Um, shout out to all the police officers and FBI and SWAT teams that responded out there. Um, to all the EMS personnel that responded out there. To all the firefighters that responded out there. Um, shout out to y'all and Hopefully, no more people will be injured or killed that they will find, and hopefully nobody else will die from their wounds. Um, I haven't got information yet. I heard a couple sources say that the um, suspect was being treated at a hospital for gunshot wounds. Um, you know, I'm going to wait just to confirm that. Um, like I said, they just cleared the scene at 11.30 and said there was no more active shooter. So that's been about 30 minutes ago. So I'm gonna wait. Um, hopefully there'll be more information on this later today or early tomorrow sometime and I can bring an update to y'all about this. Um, and you know, it could happen for a number of reasons. Um, could have been somebody at work there. Um, Somebody didn't like somebody there, somebody was bullying somebody there, um, somebody got fired there. It's been gang related, it could have been something not even related to that, and these people just got injured, it could have been some two other people shooting somewhere else and bullets just strike these three people, um or it could have just been somebody random walk in there and shoot people. Um, you know, cause about a year ago, you didn't really hear about mass shootings, you know, you heard about murders on the news, you know, in your community, you know, like two or three on the news every day. But now it seems like there's mass shootings every day. You know, and honestly, it's scary because you don't know what's going to happen. You know, you could just go to work and get shot at your work for no reason, just for working there. Um, You know, it's, it's scary, you know. People are just shooting people just to shoot people now Um, for no reason, you know, like this. Why did three people have to die? That's why in my videos, I just don't tell y'all the information and cut it off, you know. I try to give y'all as much information as I can, talk about it, put my feelings out there, and then also, I want to get y'all's opinion on it, but I also want to, you know, put this as a point that, you know, there's so much hate in the world, there's so much violence in the world, there's so much divide in the world, so much racial tension in the world, you know, that people need to grow out of it. People need to get out of that, out of that mind thinking and, you know, learn to work together because, okay, even if we work together, there still might be mass shootings, but people won't have to grieve as much if they're alone, you know. Just because someone's white and someone's black doesn't mean that we should dislike each other or just because someone's Mexican and someone's white doesn't mean we should dislike each other because someone's Mexican and someone's black doesn't mean we should dislike each other. You know, um, and there's also so many stereotypes that people bring into the race car, you know. Well, black people are just thugs and murderers and gangbangers. Mexicans are just border hoppers and want to come here and kill people and rape people. White people just shoot up schools, okay? That's stereotypical. People always bring that in when there's a, when there's something racial going on. There's always someone who brings that in. And, you know, it's sad because we're over here arguing about stupid stuff. Like, 
I mean, why were we even arguing? People don't even know why they're arguing. They just see the race car and jump in and just start yelling racial tensions back. You know, if you see something like that, why would you, why would you try and stop it? You know, I don't get why people want to add it on, you know. It don't matter who started the fight, you know. It matters about how it ended and who ended it, you know. So, point I'm trying to make is, you know, all these mass shootings are going to keep happening. They're going to keep happening more and more until we the people decide that we're going to work together and put everything behind this and no matter what your skin color is or what gender you are or if you're transsexual or if you like guys and or if you like girls or whatever the case may be as long as you have respect for someone they should have respect for you and until we learn that you know there's going to be more shootings like this there's going to be more murders there's going to be more child predators there's going to be more crime and that's why i try to make these videos to and all the racial tension going on in the world. Um, but with that being said, um, those gonna, I'm going to have a couple more videos for y'all today. Um, so stay tuned for that. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this shooting that happened. Uh, about what I talked about. And also, um, it's been a couple of days since I posted. Um, I've been at work. Uh, Dealing with the hurricane, um, so I'm back now with more videos. But like I said, if there's any videos y'all want me to do, let me know in the comments below. And let me know what you guys think about this video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank y'all for watching. I'll be back later.